Managing and Treating Myelodysplastic Syndromes, or MDS. Your MDS treatment depends on the following factors. Your general health, your life situation and choices, your MDS type, risk category, and any genetic changes, whether a blood and marrow transplant is possible, and what treatments are available to you. The goals of treatment are different for people with low-risk and high-risk MDS. If you have low-risk MDS, the goals are to help your blood make more healthy cells, reduce the number of blood transfusions you need, and help you enjoy a good quality of life for as long as possible. If you have high-risk MDS, the goals are to keep your MDS from progressing to leukemia for as long as possible, improve your quality of life by treating symptoms, and help you live as long and healthy a life as possible. The main MDS treatment options are observation, supportive care, and disease-modifying treatment. You might have some or all of these treatments, depending on your MDS type and risk category. With observation, your doctor checks your blood counts and symptoms regularly. How often you have checkups depends on your health and any changes that happen. Supportive care can include blood transfusions, medicines to help healthy blood cells develop, treatment to manage any side effects, and working with a nutritionist and counselor for help with eating well and coping with the challenges of a long-term disease. Blood transfusions are red cells or platelets given directly into your bloodstream. About 9 of 10 people with MDS get transfusions at some point. This process takes several hours. You may need a transfusion every few months, every week or sometime in between, depending on your MDS. Platelet transfusions are given if you have a high risk of bleeding too much. You receive them by transfusion, as often as your doctor prescribes. Blood transfusions are generally very safe. Donor blood and platelets are carefully tested to match your blood type and be free of infectious agents. Infections are very rare. Some people develop allergic reactions to donor blood or have fevers that last a short time. Having frequent blood cell transfusions can cause a condition called iron overload. The extra iron may harm your liver and other organs. If you get iron overload, doctors will give you medication to remove the extra iron and protect your liver and other organs. Supportive care also includes giving medications called growth factors to help your bone marrow make healthy blood cells. These are given as a shot. Doctors may prescribe erythropoietin, or EPO, to help your body develop red blood cells. Disease-modifying treatments are also available in MDS. These aim to modify the bone marrow changes that cause MDS. If you have high-risk MDS, you might start with disease-modifying treatment instead of observation. You may still have some supportive care, such as nutrition support and counseling. Drugs called azacitidine and decitabine are available to treat MDS. They work by turning on genes to kill the cancer cells. Another drug, lenalidomide, is approved for people who have a specific genetic change. You may need disease-modifying drugs if you need frequent transfusions, if treatments are not helping your symptoms, or if you have a high blast cell count. If one disease-modifying drug does not work or stops working, talk to your doctor about trying another drug or a combination of drugs, or your doctor may recommend you enroll in a clinical trial. Clinical trials offer treatments that are not yet available to the public, but are safe enough for patient volunteers. A treatment called induction chemotherapy is an option for some MDS patients. This treatment uses chemotherapy to kill the abnormal cells in your bone marrow. It is given in the hospital, can make you sick, and does not always control MDS, so only a few people have this treatment. Your doctor will discuss it with you and tell you if it might be an option. Whatever treatment you need, good nutrition and vitamins can help you manage symptoms and side effects. A nutritionist specializing in cancer and MDS can help you feel better and have more energy. MDS is a challenging disease that varies greatly from person to person. Working closely with your doctor and understanding as much as possible about the disease and treatment options can help you live as long and well as possible.